Hey, it's Ava. It's Thursday, March 24th, and we are gonna spend the next seven days doing a really fun project with one of my favorite products that we have ever offered. This item in my hands is a exclusive double rider jacket made in Italian unfinished horseside um, and crafted in Scotland from start to finish by our friends at Aero Leathers. This is a leather that we sourced a couple years back. Um, we offered it in a whole range of sneakers and accessories, and then we brought it over to Aero Leathers and started selling it as a leather for custom-made jackets. Um, and it's pretty remarkable. So it's a medium weight leather. Um, it is a front quarter horse hide. Um, unlike a lot of horse hides that you wear, um, this is immediately soft and comfortable upon the first wear. There's no break in with this leather whatsoever. Um, and it starts its life off in this gorgeous light blonde color. But as you wear it, it's going to darken and change and gain a unique patina that will be um, distinct with every single jacket and be wholly dependent on how you wear it and how you use it. So um, today's the 24th. We're gonna spend the next week leaving this outside here in California to soak up a bunch of sunlight. Uh, we're gonna wear it quite a bit through the weekend and we're gonna see how much aging and how much change this, uh, this jacket <laughs> will make um, as it progresses over the next week. And since I'm doing a video, I might as well describe some of the features here. So as I mentioned, um, Aero Leathers are made in Scotland. Um, we've been a dealer of theirs for about five years. These are done completely to your specs. Um, so we have every chest size available. Um, and from there, you can customize the body length, the sleeve length, the hardware colors, um, and a lot of the different design details, including the liner. Um, this particular one is a beautiful double rider jacket, which is um, the second best seller for us after the Cafe Racer. Um, this is styled with an angled chest pocket with a really cool D pocket detail here. This has nickel silver tone hardware, um, really nicely matched brown cotton liner, um, and it has our most popular hidden sleeve zippers. The sleeve zippers can either be exposed and visible on the side, or they can be hidden in the back. Um, this is overwhelmingly <laughs> what our customers prefer. But we have a whole range of styles available, um, and I like to say that about 95% of all custom clothing, not just jackets, but also suits, pants, shirts, um, is done remotely. We do take appointments here at our studio in Redondo Beach, Los Angeles, um, but we're also experts at using basic measurements, uh, photographs, and customer feedback to fit you remotely. Um, so with all that aside, let's put this on a dress form, get it outside, um, and start the aging process. <laughs> We're gonna check in with a few different videos um, and try to update you guys daily um, to show you the progression of this jacket. So one last time, Thursday, March 24th, this is how it looks. Let's start the transformation. Okay, so this is our double rider jacket on day one. We got a little bit of a late start. Um, it's already about 4 p.m. here, so there is some really pretty golden light on this garment, but I don't expect we're gonna get a whole lot of aging or patina today, but um, that's okay. We'll start early tomorrow and bring this jacket out in the morning so it can really soak in all of the sunlight. So this is our baseline, and I can't wait to see how this jacket develops. All right, we'll check in tomorrow. This is day two of our unfinished leather jacket project, and I brought it outside around 8 a.m. this morning. Um, it was pretty sunny here in L.A., but we did have a, a bout of overcast, kind of misty weather, but it did, uh, it did change quite a bit and a really easy tell is to look at the difference between the interior of the jacket, which was not exposed to sun whatsoever, and the exterior. So already it does have a noticeable difference in tone, and it's getting a nice kind of toasty, <laughs> toasty light brown appearance. And we're going to work on wearing it a bit this weekend, leaving it out in the sun more, and hopefully seeing some more changes.
What's great about the Double Rider is that it's really easy to see what the original tone of the leather was. Um, so all the skin that's hidden underneath this button-down lapel um, has been shielded from the sun. And you can really see how much tanning this had within just a week. But check it out. That is the original leather tone, kind of a light blonde. And this is the tone simply from sun exposure. This jacket has not been treated in any way, shape, or form. Um, it's just been left outside on this dress form for about five days, and it was worn outdoors uh, for maybe about like four hours or so. But really, really dramatic. This is cool how you can kind of see the uh, see this little sharp line of suntan, the jacket's own tan lines. Hey, it's Ava, and this is the final stage of our aging process for this gorgeous unfinished horsehide double rider jacket from Aero Leathers of Scotland. And I've got one of my favorite leather conditioners here. This is from Feebings, and this is Mink Oil Liquid. So we're gonna apply this to a microfiber cloth. Um, both of these are easily available uh, to purchase online. And um, we're gonna spread this liquid all over this jacket which is gonna darken the shade um, a couple of notches and also cover up some of the small splotches and stains which are uh, kind of inevitable with a, a natural jacket like this. So your first step is to shake this bottle up nicely. Um, you could be pretty generous with applying this to your microfiber cloth. And doing this on a warm day here in California, it's like 100 degrees outside. Um, is also good because it helps uh, it helps the liquid to go on more evenly. Important thing with this, or really any kind of leather conditioner, is to really spread it around the cloth evenly and then apply it to the jacket with an open palm. One of the most challenging things is to, is to get a uniform appearance. So you wanna have kind of the most uh, surface contact as you can. But with this, I'm just gonna evenly spread this all over the jacket. And as you saw in the last video, <laughs> there's portions of this jacket which are definitely not tanned whatsoever. So you can also use this mink oil as a way to even out these suntan lines. Not that anyone's gonna see this when it's buttoned down, but if you ever wanna wear this collar up like Marlon Brando and the wild ones, <laughs> this way everything is gonna be more or less the same color tone. You wanna spread this evenly, and after all is said and done, we're probably gonna to try to do two coats on this. Something important, don't freak out if you're seeing really huge variations here like this. Um, this is still wet and all of this tonality is going to be a lot more subtle and even when the uh, mink oil actually dries into the leather. But it is going to give this a really, really pretty medium caramel tone. And as I mentioned, any of the uh, kind of small stains and marks, which are always going to happen with an unfinished leather, are going to also be obscured and a lot less visible. So this is the final result. Um, pretty easy work. It took me about 10 minutes to spread the mink oil all over this jacket. And uh, pretty happy with how it came out. It has a really nice uniform tanned brown color, kind of a gorgeous caramel. Um, you still see a lot of variation in tone all over it. Um, <laughs> some areas that I probably could have applied the mink oil to better. Um, but really, however you want to treat it is up to you. Um, you can do a second coat on this. You can do as many coats as you want. Um, a lot of customers would just kind of like wear this as it is. Um, but the mink oil is nice. It does kind of even out the tones. Um, you know, if you have any small stains or whatever, it can also camouflage that. Um, conditions the leather and it does give it a uh, small degree of water resistance too. Um, so just a great product to use. And mink oil does come in a few different forms. Um, you definitely want the liquid. Anytime that you're trying to treat a leather jacket, um, liquid is always a better choice because if you get kind of like the mink oil that comes in a little polished container um, that's really thick, uh, it is hard to spread that uniformly. Um, and the one last tip, uh, I just want to stress the open palm technique um, because you really want to take that cloth, 
spread the liquid evenly and then use an open hand um, because if you ever take any kind of mink oil or polish and dab it on in one specific spot um, you're going to create a dark spot in that one area so it's all about using using as little product as possible and spreading it as evenly as possible but i think this came out pretty great <laughs> this is a uh, this is ready to go thank you for watching